Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Goranga, Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Bolo, 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 Ho. Hare <laughs> Hey, hey, down, down, Hare Hare Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram Ram, Ram, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hey, Ram Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Jose, Jose, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Krishna <laughs> Hare Bolo, Bolo, Hare, 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 
Goranga, he Goranga. Ha ha, he Krishna, he Krishna, he Krishna, he Krishna. Ha ha ha, he Ramma, he Ramma, Ramma, Ramma. Ha ha ha, he Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. Nitya Goram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hama, Hare Hama, Hama Hama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hey. Hare Krishna, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Ha <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram Hare Hare. Hare 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 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 हम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Ram Hare, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Nethai Gaur Hari Bhau Hari Bhau Hari Bhau Hari Bhau Nethai Gaur Nethai Gaur Hari Bhau Hari Bhau Hari Bhau Hari Bhau Nethai Gaur Nethai Gaur and if I go Bravo Pad, 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 Hari ho, Hari ho, Hari ho. Hey, Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Hare Oh, <laughs> 
Hare Krishna Hare 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 <laughs> His gun founder Acharya, His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada ki. Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahans Pariva Chakacharja. Astotara Sattu Sri Sriman, His Divine Grace, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaja ki. Ananta Koti Vaishnava Indi ki. Namacharya Srila Haridas Dakur ki. Sri Rup Sanatan Bhattaraganashi Jiva Gopam Bhattas Raghunath Sad Goswami ki. Prem Sikaho, Sri Krishna, Chaitanya Prabhu, Nitya, Dhanda, Sri Advaita, Gadadhar, Sri Vasadi, Gauda, Bhakta, Vrindaki, Sri Sri Radha, Krishna, Gopa, Gopinath, Shamakund, Radhakund, Giri, Govardhan, Ki, Vrindhavan, Dham, Ki, Sri Navadvip, Mayapur, Dham, Ki, Jagannath, Puri, Purushottam, Shetra, Dham, Ki, Ganga, Mai, Ki, Jamuna, Mai, Ki, Tosi Maharani ki, Bhakti Devi ki, Sama Veda Bhakti Rinda ki, Sri Sri Kishore Kishore ke, Dear Lordship Sri Sri Kishore Kishore ke, Sri Sri Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Maharani ke, Sri Sri Gornitai ke, Sri Harinam Sankirtan ke, Transcendental Book Distribution ke, Transcendental Prashadam Distribution ke, Nitai Gaur Premanande. Glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga. Srila Prabhupada Kijai. Namaste Narasinghaya Prahlada Laridayane Ito Nishinga Parato Nishinko Yato, yato, yamita, to nishinga. Pahe nishinga, rida ye nishinga. Pahe nishinga, rida ye nishinga. Narasingha madim saranam prapade Namaste Narasingha ya Namaste Narasingha 
प्रहलाद लाद दायने हिरान्या काची पुबक्स हाँ सिर तंकान कालाये इतो निशिंगा पर तो निशिंगो या तो या तो या मित तो निशिंगा बाहे निशिंगो रिदाये निशिंगो नरसिंह मध्यम शरणाम प्रपदे सब कर कमला बेरे ना काम आत्मत शिंगाम चाली था हिरान्या कशी भूत धानु पिंगाम केशवद्री था नरहरि रूपा चाय चक दिशाये चाय चक दिशाये चाय चक दिशाये नरहरि रूपा चाय चक दिशारे चाय चक दिशारे चाय चक दिशारे Chaya Nishinga Dev, Chaya Nishinga Dev Chaya Pralat Maharaj, Chaya Pralat Maharaj Pralat Maharaj, Chaya Pralat Maharaj Chaya Chaya Prabhupada Chaya Prabhupada Prabhupada Chaya Prabhupada 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 Chaya Chaya Prabhupada 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 Chaya Prabhupada Chaya Chaya Prabhupada Shingri Bhagavan Ki Chai Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Thank you so much for being with us this Sunday afternoon. On behalf of our founder Acharya Shila Bhakti Shila AC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shila Prabhupad, I would like to welcome each and every one of you for our Sunday program. 
I would also like to extend a very, very warm welcome for all the participants who have come from far and near for participating in Bud Billikan Parade. Let's welcome them. Uh, it's a parade uh, which is uh, held every year in the uh, city of Chicago for uh, back to school time and uh, Gormani Prabhu and his team for last several years they have been distributing the mercy of Lord Jagadnath and Prashadam to all the participants. It's one of the oldest parade and one of the largest parade which is taking place here in Chicago. Thank you so much, Gormani Prabhu, for all your efforts. Is there anybody here for the very first time? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, there is a small gift for you. We would like to request you to kindly pick it up when you go up for prashadam after the class. Today's class is being given by His Holiness Chandramauli Swami. Let's welcome him with a loud Hari Bol. Hari Bol! Chandramauli Maharaj needs no introduction, so I will not spend any time on that. Rather, I will invite Maharaj to speak to all of you and share his message with all of us. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for being with us. Um, about Janmashmi, uh, we have Balram Prabhu here to give you some information on that. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Krishna Janmashtami ki. <clears throat> so as we explained last uh, week, the festivities will be organized in the next few weeks. Uh, it's on September 5th. This is a yearly event and a very wonderful event for um, not only just Gaudiya Vaishnavas, but this festival is celebrated practically throughout the world. Um, what comes with this festival is a lot of organization and a um, lot of effort from many devotees here who live in the Chicagoland area. It is also a wonderful opportunity for devotees who don't directly are connected in some shape or form with Krishna and to the temple um, by offering some services. As Krishna explains in Bhagavad Gita, those of us who work outside, one way we can become purified by the work that we perform is by offering the results of the work to Krishna. So once a year, actually we should be doing this every day, but Krishna is so kind that once a year and the temple allows us to offer some direct service to Shishri Kishore Kishori in some shape or form. And this year, there are many different details that we are trying to put together. There is a small information desk outside as you walk up uh, to the temple, I mean to the Prasadam hall, there's a small booth we have set up where you can get more information. The idea is that we want to contribute in some shape or form. There is no small contribution or big contribution. So we encourage all of you, as you go up, you can see there's a little chart we have put together that has got details about in what way you can participate. Um, that is one aspect of the festival. The other aspect is we need a lot of devotees who can come forward for volunteering um, services actually on that day. Also prior to those days uh, as we start planning, you can come and see me or Radha Raman Prabhu and we can share more information. But we want you to get excited about this festival and uh, more information will be sent out via email, through our website and through word of mouth and every Sunday we'll be here trying to give you more information as the festival gets closer. Thank you very much. Now we'll hear from His Holiness Chandramoli Maharaj. Hare Krishna.
Hare Krishna, welcome. <clears throat> so we'll begin with Sri Sri Jai Radha Madhava. <clears throat> Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jammoon, 
Hare Krishna, Namang Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Sri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine, Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gaudavani Pachadine, Nirvasesa Sunyavadi Pastyatya De Satarine, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Mm. So I was asked to speak on a particular topic which I completely don't understand at all. <laughs> anyway, I'll try. It's, uh, I even forgot the topic. Let's see, it's called Spiritual Ideal Connected with Virtual Reality? No. Huh? Spiritual Reality meets... Oh, Spiritual Ideal meets Impossible Reality, right? <laughs> Something like a reality, okay. All right, how to be, how to apply the knowledge that's given to us as the standard for practice of Krishna consciousness to day-to-day -day life? Is that it? Something like that? Uh, Prabhupada said Krishna consciousness is really easy. He said it so many times. It's so easy, he said. And sometimes it's difficult. Is it easy or is it difficult? How many say easy? Not too many. <laughs> How many say difficult? Okay. You're both right. <laughs> it's the, there's one ingredient that makes it easy and without that ingredient, it becomes difficult. It's called determination. <laughs> that one the process is easy, but to, to be determined to follow it, that's the difficulty. As soon as you apply determination to the process, it's easy. So the process is chant the holy names of the Lord, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. We do that all the time. And to worship the Lord, offer prayers to the Lord, offer our time, energy and service to the Lord. Eat food that's offered to the Lord only. Try to eat only that food that's offered to the Lord. And that's the process. And associate with others who are doing the same. Mm -hmm. That's basically the whole process. The philosophy is there, but it's more like a guideline for these, three, these activities. <laughs> to chant the holy names of the Lord, to associate with devotees, to take Krishna Prashadam and to do something for God, as we do something for our families, our friends, ourself, our people around us, even when we're forced to do things for the government, right? <laughs> even though we don't want to, we still do it. <laughs> Krishna doesn't force you. But still, he asks us voluntarily to offer some service. So the spiritual ideal is the, the process of using the activities of spiritual life in the day-to-day -day life. In other words, connecting our life with Krishna somehow. That's a practical formula. And Krishna gives a little bit of an indication how to do it. Whatever you do, do it for me. <laughs> how can we do things for Krishna when we're so much involved with activities in the day-to-day -day world, such as maintaining family and you know, going to work? sometimes working in a situation which we really don't find much pleasure, but we do it because out of, out of necessity. But still, and then Krishna says, whatever you do, offer it to me. In other words, try to become a devotee by chanting his name, associating with others who are doing the same, and to uh, practice the process of Krishna consciousness, very simple. And then, whatever else you do, do that in the same vein. In other words, my goal is to become 
Krishna conscious. The question is, what is our goal in life? Actually, we can sum out, we can summarize our goal in life. The goal in life is to be what? Happy. That's all. Everyone's looking for happiness, but nobody knows exactly what it is and where to find it. <laughs> See, that's the problem. The problem is that this spiritual ideal is so easy, but the material so-called reality is very confusing. It confuses the simplest things in life and makes the easiest things difficult and makes the difficult things impossible. <laughs> So in order to somehow live in this world, we have to somehow or other have a goal in life. What is our goal in life? Well, the goal in life is to be happy. I think everybody has that goal in life, right? I don't think you'll find anyone who doesn't want to be happy. I mean, there's obviously some persons in the world that do things that are not conducive to happiness at all for themselves and for others. But that's a frustration of the, of the desire to be happy that comes out in these other forms, that's all. But everyone wants satisfaction, everyone wants peace, wants, everyone wants what we say, stability in life, everyone wants more happiness. That can only be found in something that doesn't change. <laughs> if something is changing, how can, you be, how can you find something constant in something that has changed? Because this world is a world of change. There's one thing constant in this world, and that's change. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, everything is always changing. Our bodies are changing, our relationships are changing. And even we have relationships with the same persons, and it kind of changes as time goes on. So change is always there. Time changes everything. Time moves things along, changes everything. Sometimes we like something and sometimes we dislike the same thing we liked in the past. So change is always there. But there's something constant. We have to find that constant. That constant reality is our relationship with something that's not changeable. <laughs> and that is our relationship with Krishna. That doesn't change. So how to bring the, the changeable world connected to the constant reality? <laughs> I think that's the... And that is to somehow or other understand that whatever we do in this world, ultimately, if it's not connected to our, to our ultimate happiness, it simply leads to frustration like that. People work very hard to achieve something they get it and then they lose it. Or they get it and they can't feel happy with it and they try for something different. Yeah. It's just the way the world is. Everyone is waiting for the world to somehow work according to everyone's desires. Sounds familiar? Sooner or later, everything will fall in place. Right? <laughs> Sooner or later. <laughs> it's usually later and then when it becomes later, then it's too late. <laughs> So this, the world is just like that. It's just always frustrating our desires to find stability, happiness, and peace. We can only find it on the spiritual platform. Therefore, our relationship with the Supreme Lord is something that doesn't change. It only grows. <laughs> it grows. As we develop that relationship, it increases more and more. The increase of our relationship with the Supreme or Krishna is not something that is, not, is coming from the outside, it's coming from within. Uh, all living entities are connected with Krishna eternally. As Krishna is the source, he's the basis, and therefore everything that is in this world and things beyond this world are, are working under his control directly or indirectly. He says that in the Bhagavad Gita. You know, everything is my energy and I am the controller of all the energies. And by my will, everything is happening like that. And so, to how to connect with Krishna's will? It's very difficult. Therefore, one has to have direction to connect their spiritual reality or the spiritual ideal 
to the, what we say, the changing reality or the day-to-day -day reality. And there's where we get guidance. In any activity, guidance is required, especially something that is not seen. When you can see something, you can try through empirical observation and various intellectual approaches to try to figure it out. And you can also take help from books and other per persons who are in the same, what we say, you know, direction. But something you can't see, <laughs> something that is beyond the range of the senses, you have to go to someone who knows something beyond the range of the senses. Something who, some person who's, who's existence is on that platform, and that is the pure spiritual master. The, spirit, the pure spiritual master, he, he has three qualities. He knows the way, he goes the way, and he shows the way. <laughs> all, th the, all three. He knows the way because he's already gone the way, <laughs> and he can show the way because he's there. <laughs> so therefore, when one takes direction from the pure spiritual master, then one can understand things beyond the, the range of the senses. Because Krishna is called Achyuta. Krishna is very hard to understand. In fact, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Vedaham samatitanya vardmana prajarjuna bhavishyami chabhutani mam tu vedana I know everything that's happened in the past. I know everything that's happened in the present. And I know everything that's yet to come. I also know all living beings, but Krishna says, me, nobody knows. <laughs> he ends the verse by saying, yeah, I know everything, but nobody knows me. The, question, the thing is, if you could know God, you would be as good as God. <laughs> Some people say, well, I know God. Well, what do you know about God? <laughs> we might know maybe 2% or 5%, or maybe get lucky, up to 40, 50%. But no one can know God in full, because God is beyond the range of the senses, the mind, the intelligence, and even the imagination. <laughs> so to try to, to try to know God, you have to approach one who knows God. And by his mercy, mercy means, mercy is something that keeps life going in the right direction. Just like a person in this world, people worship people in this world because they have some power, position, some, when we say abilities, talents, facilities, or very charismatic. But if that person is not merciful or kind to others, then that person actually is not attractive at all. <laughs> An unkind or a cruel person or a hard-hearted person, although maybe qualified in so many ways, is not attractive. That one quality is a disqualification for all their so-called other good qualities. But in Krishna, Krishna is so kind and so merciful, although he's so qualified in so many ways. And what is his mercy? He helps us to understand him through his representative, the spiritual master. So connecting the day-to-day -day reality, the ideal of spiritual life with the day-to-day -day reality is hearing about Krishna and about devotional service from the pure devotee of the Lord. Yesterday, I, I, I just came back from Ottawa, Canada. We were, had a four-day festival there. And the festival was centered around glorification of Srila Prabhupada, <laughs> our spiritual master. And so the talks and the discussions and the entire presentations was hearing about his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada, his contributions, his pastimes, his personalities, his philosophy, everything. And by hearing about that, we understand that 
Krishna has given everything in one place. <laughs> that here's a personality who can give Krishna to everyone if someone just connects with that personality through the sound, through the sound vibration. That's all. It's that simple. The process of hearing is the process of knowledge because the process of hearing go, awakens within us the knowledge that is already there. N knowledge, or we might even use the word education, comes from the Latin word educari. Educari means to bring out. That's the etymological root meaning of the word education. It means to bring out something. So what are we bringing out? We're bringing out that is, with, that is within our own hearts, within our souls, within our existence. And what is that? The knowledge of God. So when we hear the truth and we connect with that sound, through that sound, through the process of hearing, it awakens that knowledge we already know. <laughs> Have you ever had that experience in life where you've heard something or you had an experience and it just completely resonates with your existence. There's no doubt. You don't need any confirmation from anyone else. It's an experience. The knowledge that you receive is an experience in itself. I'm sure we all had that. Maybe we've heard something consistently or constantly. Then finally when we heard it one day, we said, yes, that's, that's correct. <laughs> I know it now because it, it becomes intuitive. It's no longer philosophical or intellectual. It becomes intuitive. It, it actually resonates. Well, the knowledge of God is like that, but it's hidden. It's called gupta. It's, it's hidden within the deep re recesses of our existence, and it's brought out through pure sound vibration. So bringing the spiritual ideal to the day-to-day -day life is the process of hearing. The more you hear about the process of knowing God, and the more you hear about God himself, the more you realize God. <laughs> the question is, do we have time to hear? This, this society is very much uh, geared to distract our attention in different ways, right? There's so many opportunities for your mind to go different ways, right? Sometimes we use the term, it is called the weapons of mass distraction. <laughs> We've heard of weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass distraction, iPhones, iPads, computers, TVs, so many other electronic gadgets, all very nice and have some value. But if we, we find ourselves just skimming the net or surfing the net, getting caught in the web, locked into the cell, right? <laughs> so many, we just spend so much time with useless information, which really doesn't really give us any satisfaction. The mind may find a little bit of a what we say a relief from the present situation. There was a survey that was taken just recently. Well, how do people, you know, who live in this world, what do they do to somehow or other feel relief from the difficulties in this world? And three things was. One was sleep. <laughs> and just, you know, void out. <laughs> That doesn't solve any problems. <laughs> the other one was intoxication. In other words, somehow or other, take some, something to change your consciousness into a, another realm, and then you can forget about the present miseries. You just create more miseries anyway. And the other one was entertainment. Entertainment, what to become entertained. So spiritual life is actually one of those ways out. It's a form of entertainment, but it, it entertains our consciousness in such a way that it, nat this is the word, it naturally attracts us to Krishna. I use the word natural because to, to be attracted to God is natural. 
Some people say, well, you've created God because there's a need to have a God. You ever hear the atheist, they say that? Oh, because you need God, you've created. Well, we need air, right? right? So we've created air because we needed it, <laughs> or water, <laughs> or food, or relationships. No, these things also are part of life. No one's created them, or at least no one in this realm has created them. Therefore, God is actually a need. It's a real need because without our relationship with God, we are left with just a day-to-day -day life of illusion. We struggle. Which direction? What to do? How to find happiness? How to find satisfaction? We make our plans. We change our plans. And things just sometimes either get a little better or maybe get a little worse like that. But make your plan to hear more about Krishna. Because the more we hear about the Lord and his devotees, his pure devotees, from the pure devotee, the more we come back to ourself. <laughs> you want to find yourself? Find God. <laughs> because within God, you find yourself. <laughs> You're looking for yourself. You know, there's so many programs now. Self-help, you know, how to do this better, how to be expert at this, you know, how to, I don't know, there's all these, so many how-to books, right? How to. <laughs> how to, how three, how four. <laughs> it's a long list of hows, you know. How. It's like all of a sudden somebody's come up with something. But the Shastras say, there's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> you just have to understand what's already been given. Don't try to create something new. There's nothing new. Whatever's been, whatever's anyone's ever created, it's been done before in a different form, maybe. But it's the same thing. So, but therefore, how to keep our consciousness connected to Krishna through spiritual sound vibration. And therefore, there are so many transcendental literatures that are transcendental sound vibrations. Reading these literatures, purifies our mind, it p gives peace, it gives satisfaction, and it gives intelligence. It awakens our spiritual knowledge like that. Hearing directly transcendental sound from the spiritual master about the glories of the Lord, about the process of pure devotional service. But you know, what's our, what is our problem? We don't have time. That's our problem. We haven't made time enough. When our spiritual master was beginning his movement in India before he came to the West, his divine grace had created a newsletter called Back to Godhead. At that time, it was one or two pieces of paper. Now it's a full magazine, the monthly magazine of the Hare Krishna movement. And he was writing and he would distribute not only write, but have it printed up himself, he would do everything, and then also distribute it for a few pice or a few rupees, not even a few rupees. And he would approach people in different places, on the streets and tea stalls and different marketplaces. And they would say, oh, Swamiji, you got what you are doing is very nice, but we have no time. <laughs> We have so many family obligations, this obligation, that obligation, so many times. So our spiritual master, in his na one of his later issues, he wrote an article, no time. Nobody has time for God. <laughs> or not, not enough time. The thing is, when you emphasize something, that becomes, a, that becomes an accelerated experience. Whatever you emphasize in life, you become good at, right? If you want to be a musician, you just practice. Find a good teacher and practice, 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 and you'll develop. In other things, you can also do the same thing. So same with spiritual life. So therefore, if we can find, we can find more and more time to hear 
And there's one thing good, well, there's many things good, but there's one thing good about the technology that we have available now. We can hear constantly. Like yesterday, I was coming back on the plane, I was tired, and you know, I, the plane ride was like, whoa. We were bouncing all over the airways. And uh, I just decided, okay, I'll just turn on my iPad and start listening to a kirtan for an hour and a half. <laughs> And then it was a whole different world. All of a sudden, I was in, connected to the, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra in a very wonderful way. So technology has given these facilities that we can connect with the transcendental sound vibration and ver various forms of electronic devices. So that's a benefit like that. And sound is so, what we say, fundamental to our existence. Everything depends on sound, really. When sound is pleasing and, it, and spiritual, it lifts our consciousness up, right? There was a study done on music. There was a study done on music. The different types of music and how it affects your, what we say, uh, physical and mental equilibrium how it cha how the how the music actually changes both our consciousness and our psychophysical what we say activities now when they did a little experiment on rock and roll <laughs> so i don't want to say anything bad about rock and roll but they did it with a plant they put rock and roll next to a plant and the plant died <laughs> and then they put, you know, some nice symphonic music next to the plant, and the plant lived nicely and actually flourished. So when the music is sweet and elevating, like that. So with the study of different types of music, they find it actually has effect on our psychophysical existence. And the study concluded that the Indian bhajans actually go right to the heart. There's different, what we say, energy places in the body. And the, the Indian bodhijans go right to the heart and lift the consciousness up like that. Because they're, they're geared in glorification of the Lord like that. So by this, not only glorification of the Lord, but when that sound is pleasing and full of devotion, we are connected immediately. That's the power of sound. That's why in this movement, the, the essential principle of our spiritual development is chanting Hare Krishna. <laughs> it's connecting with Krishna through sound, <laughs> like that. Yeah. It's very difficult to connect with Krishna, but it's very easy to connect with him through sound. <laughs> so sound is the medium, like that. So hearing is very, very fundamental to our existence, right? If you're talking to somebody, and if that person is talking very pleasingly and has a very nice way of speaking, even if the subject matter is not so interesting, it's not so bad, right? But if somebody is speaking about very nice subject matter, but they're not, very, they're not speaking so nicely, and it's harsh, and it's chastising, and it's condescending, you want to run away, right? <laughs> How, how sound really affects, really, everything we do. We come to the Hare Krishna temple to hear nice kirtans and bhajans and to experience, you know, hearing about the glories of the Lord because it lifts our consciousness up. And consciousness is life. Consciousness is life. You are what you think. <laughs> Sometimes they say you are what you eat. I mean, that's true to a certain degree. But what you eat will call, cause you to think in a certain way or not. Therefore, you really are what you think or what is your consciousness. Because consciousness is spiritual. Consciousness is not material. There's material consciousness. What is material consciousness? It's spiritual consciousness covered with material layers. That's all. When, when consciousness is spiritual, because consciousness is life, and consciousness is the, is the symptom of the soul. The body is dead. 
this body that we have it is never alive when the soul is in the body that's called life when the soul leaves the body that's called death this body made up of so many nice elements is dead it's always dead it has no life but the presence of the soul within the body gives life to the body and when that same soul disappears and what is the symptom of that soul consciousness so consciousness because you see there's no consciousness in the dead body <laughs> but in the live body there's different types of consciousness so when that consciousness is krishna conscious or spiritual consciousness god conscious that is the that is our natural consciousness like that so so how do we feed that consciousness through the sound of hearing like that we can hear more and more and more and there's a ways to hear too if you if you like to hear something how much more do you actually hear the subject matters you like to hear right when your wife is chastising you you don't listen so much right <laughs> or when your husband is you know doing the same thing giving you a hard time you know you cooked lunch you know i don't like that you know you don't listen so much so when, when there's discourse or discord, and no, that's a discourse, discourse, discord and discourse, then you know, kind of like shut down the hearing energy a little bit. It comes a little bit down. But when, you, when, the, when the sound is what we say pleasing or elevating, then, or something we like to hear, how much the attention increases. So, but there is a natural, what we say, quality to our consciousness that when we start hearing about God in a regular way our attraction for the Lord awakens and then the consciousness actually starts to like to hear more and as that increases we become absorbed and that's Krishna consciousness like that to connect with Krishna through sound like that we can see the deity but how much can we see the Lord within the deity Krishna's there. There's this verse in the Bhagavad no, I'm sorry, the verse in Padma Purana, it says, Arche Vishnu, Sila Di Guru Shunamasi, Vaishnave Jati Bhuti. Uh, Arche Vishnu Sila Di. The one who thinks that this deity is stone or wood is wrong. The deity is actually the Lord in transcendental. He appears in, in the form of material elements just to give us his darshan, his presence so we can worship him, we can offer prayers, we can serve him, we can feel his presence. But how do we experience his presence more and more? Through hearing. The eyes become beautiful through the ears. Premanjaritam <coughs> bhakti vilochanena Santa Sadaiva Ridayeshu Vilokyanti Yam Shama Sundar Achinta Gunasarupyam Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. When the eyes are decorated with love, one can see God more and more. But the eyes become what we say energized through the ears. <clears throat> the more you hear about Krishna, the more your eyes become beautified and you can see Krishna more. You can see Krishna in the heart of all living entities. You can see Krishna in, the, in existence. Krishna says, I'm between every atom. I'm within every atom. I'm everywhere. If God has to appear anywhere, he doesn't have to get on Garuda and drive, you know, a thousand, you know, miles an hour or whatever, how fast he ever goes. He doesn't have to come from somewhere to appear anywhere. He's right here. If he wants to appear, he can. He just makes himself visible. That's all. He's right. He's within everything, in his personal form and in his energies also. So God is right in front of us. <laughs> he's in your heart. <laughs> he's there in the deity. He's there in the holy name. You can't get away from God. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> You're surrounded. <laughs> he's. <laughs> That's, that's nice. I mean, and he's, he's giving protection. He's giving us direction, if we're willing to hear his direction. 
everything is there. And so through the process of sound, transcendental sound, it's called Sabda Brahman. Sabda means sound and Brahman means spiritual. Through spiritual sound vibration, our consciousness starts to evolve and the layers of material energy gradually go away. The reason I'm making this point is that we spend most of our time outside of the temple or doing other things, but the hearing process can go on always. See, this is the key. You can always hear. You can hear 24 hours a day if you want to. And then through that sound, you can always connect with God through the sound. This is, this is the actual, what we say, benefit of this technological age is that we have opportunities to hear constantly. And as we practice hearing, that sound starts to resonate within yourself and then you don't need any external device to hear. You can hear simply in your own heart, in your own mind, like that. So, spiritual ideals, day-to-day -day reality. The connection is through sound. Here's the connection. Just connect with Krishna through sound, or with spiritual knowledge through sound, like that. But we have no time. Hare Krishna. <laughs> make time <laughs> okay so you got terminal cancer the doctor says there's no chance you're gonna live anymore so you think hmm I think I go on vacation I'll paint the house I'll buy a new car <laughs> right no you're not gonna do that you're gonna start to get serious about your relationship with God right so we all have a kind of cancer. It's called time cancer. <laughs> You've heard of time cancer? Time catches up with you and it's, you're finished. <laughs> At least this body is anyway. So we all, we're all under the influence of time, <laughs> right? So time works in such a way as that if you're trying to become God conscious, time brings you closer to Krishna. If you're trying to run away from Krishna, time is the most fearful thing in the world, right? Oh my God, right? It's really frightening. How much time do I have left? Who knows? But if we use time through sound, time expands. Because the soul is not part of this world. Therefore, time doesn't affect us. It affects the body or affects anything in this world. So we're not affected by time, but our body is. Therefore, if we connect our consciousness to something that is eternal, we're above time. We're free from the time element. And therefore, through sound, we connect with Krishna, and we go on to the, the, the place called the, time, the world of timelessness. In the spiritual world, there's no time. Because time is a feature of this world that moves things along. It brings things about, changes things, and ends things. But in the spiritual world, everything is eternal, full of knowledge and full of, what we say, bliss. So therefore, time has no effect for one who's constantly connected or regularly connected with transcendental self. So this is practical. Although it's philosophical, it's still very practical. Connect with sound more and more like that. Like nowadays in our Krishna consciousness movement, we, we have what is called kirtan melas. We do 24 hours of kirtan. Constantly, 24 hours just chanting the holy names of the Lord. Or japa retreats where we chant japa every day, 32 rounds, 64 rounds for five days. Why? To find an opportunity to emphasize and to accentuate are the sound vibration, because that will bring our consciousness up more and more like that. It's all based on hearing. You know, when you hear something, you think, and when you think, you're inspired to act or not act. So when you hear about Krishna, your consciousness inspires you to think about Krishna, 
and then you want to serve Krishna and then gradually you connect with Krishna. It's all based on hearing. So practice. <laughs> and when we hear from pure sound, from the spiritual teachers who are pure devotees of the Lord, that sound is the best of all vibrations. It immediately can take you to the spiritual world. There's a verse, sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sarva sastri hoy, sadhu sangha, sarva sangha, lava matta, sarva siddhi hoy. That just by hearing one eleventh of a second of pure sound, one can be fully Krishna conscious. One eleventh of a second. How is that possible? Lava matta means one of eleventh of a second. How is it possible? You might say, well, I've been hearing for so long. And I'm not fully Krishna conscious, so what, there's some explanation that's needed. What is the explanation? And that was explained by our spiritual teacher. He said, when, when he was asked this question, when the wood is wet, it doesn't ignite. <laughs> but when the wood is dry, immediately there's fire. <laughs> so, that, therefore, we have to dry out by, through the sound vibration. And the more we hear, the more we're, dry, we're getting away from the wetness of material existence and putting our consciousness. And then at one point, everything clicks. In other words, that lava mata comes, boom, through the process of hearing. Yeah, it's very powerful like that. We chant, but we hear, we pray, we have to know what to pray, so we have to hear. So hearing is the basis of everything. Hearing is the basis of life. Like that. So hear about Krishna. <laughs> or hear about transcendental topics. And then our consciousness will be always with Krishna. And when you're with God, there's... When you're with Krishna, then you're not part of this world anymore. As soon as you connect with Him, you're on a different platform, because he's on a different platform. He's not part of this world like that. So it's a very simple process, but then back to the original statement, how do you do it? Determination. But Maharaj, I don't have any determination. What am I gonna do? Get some. <laughs> Where do you find it? Go to those who have it and also associate with them and you'll get that determination. But determination is also fostered by be, de, taking our determination away from things that distract our mind away from Krishna. When we're determined in the wrong direction, it's hard to somehow or other keep that determination in the right direction. So emphasize the positive, the negative reduces its effect like that. The more we emphasize Krishna consciousness, and when you're Krishna conscious, everything is there. <clears throat> but why, why is that? Because it's your natural consciousness. It's not artificial. Mm, the, one of the first statements made by our spiritual master was, it's not an artificial imposition on the mind. It's the natural transcendental vibration that awakens our pure consciousness. Consciousness is pure. Have you ever seen a body of water? You can see the, the bottom. You look down, maybe some lake that is pure or clean. You can see the rocks on the bottom. It's translucent. There's a place in, in India called Hardwar. And there's a place called Laksmanjula. You can go there. You look down, it's about four or five feet deep in certain places. You see the rocks on the bottom, they're clear. Our consciousness is like that, but when we stir it up with material desires and material activities, it's like moving the, the dirt on the bottom and it becomes cloudy. So bring Krishna in and then everything becomes clear again. Through hearing more about Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Hari. That's simple, right? It's so easy. No time. 
make time. <laughs> Any questions? Comments? Yes, we have a question. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you, Marge. My question is, um, what does it mean to be Krishna conscious and is there a difference between being fully Krishna conscious and just being Krishna conscious? Fully Krishna conscious means constant. We have moments of Krishna consciousness. And so when those moments are placed together in a sweet sequence, that's full Krishna conscious. But we remember Krishna and then we forget. <laughs> or we're connected and we're not connected. Material energy is so, it works so that, that Krishna is right there, but if you move left or right, you're in a different consciousness. You just, so practice. We're not saying you should all of a sudden do it. It's not possible. You just practice. That's all. Krishna consciousness is practice. <laughs> it's practice. Practice remembering Krishna, practice chanting Krishna, practice reading and hearing about Krishna, practice doing the activities of devotional service. It's easy. <laughs> practice. <laughs> that gentleman there has a question. No, right next to you, yes. Like, uh, uh, I have uh, one experience and I just want to share one experience. A little I re bit. Experience, my own experience. Uh, I replaced the determination by the word prayer. Say, for example, I was not doing 16 rounds of uh, yeah. mantra. If, you, if I'm not doing, I say, I just pray to the Lord Krishna and I don't have to make any determination. Mm -hmm. I don't have to pressurize myself. I just pray for everything, whatever, whatever I want to do. And, uh, and it comes automatically by itself. And it, it, it is a very powerful way of... Yeah, prayer uh, is powerful. But it's important to pray for the right thing. Yes. <laughs> we should pray for the right thing. I mean, we yes. can make... We, we should always pray for the right thing. Yeah. But uh, whenever, instead, instead of determination, because many times people don't have determination or power of determination, just pray and then... People, people say to God, give me. Yes. But God is already giving. So therefore, our prayers are, my dear Lord, what can I do for you? <laughs> Everyone's praying, my dear Lord, what can you do for me? <laughs> but we understand that if you really want to please God, you say, what can I do for you? That's the best prayer. Even one great philosopher said, that prayer that, uh, that attends, that listens to what God wants from us, that is the best prayer, like that. Our spiritual master used to say, my only prayer is, how can I serve you? <laughs> the material things God's providing, you don't have to pray for that. You get it or you don't get it. And the thing when you pray for something material, you're not sure what's going to make you happy or not, right? Sometimes one, you know, one girl prays, "Oh, I want this boy, please, dear Lord," and she gets him, and it's it's the miser it's miserable. <laughs> so we don't know. We might pray for something we think we need or like, but what a, a real prayer is to pray for something that actually pleases God. Mm -hmm. And because it pleases Him, it, it'll naturally please us. <laughs> God is providing your food. God is providing your shelter. God is providing everything you need to live in this world. There's no need to pray for these things. You should thank Him for these. We can do that. We thank God for whatever He's giving us. 
to acknowledge his gifts, but our prayer is, now that you've given me so much, what can I do for you? <laughs> like that. He doesn't need anything, but he likes when we show our devotion to him. Imagine you're, imagine you're in the family and you have a child who says, Daddy, give me. Daddy, give me. Daddy, give me. Daddy, give me. Daddy, why are you not giving me? What do you think the father's going to think? All right, here, take it. <laughs> but when, when you have a child says, Daddy, what can I, can I buy you a gift? <laughs> Isn't there a different relationship? So we're always asking, Lord, give me this. Give me that. Give me this. All right, here, take it. But don't bother me. <laughs> think about that. Imagine you had a, a child that just all he, all he likes about you is what you can give him. <laughs> I mean, because you're there just to give him something. That's all. That's your purpose, right? So for most people, God is just there to provide whatever they want, right? So, so how's God going to feel? <laughs> all right, you want something? Here, take it. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't give it. <laughs> <laughs> but what can I do for you? <laughs> that's, that's the prayer. <laughs> right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Um, we hear in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that one can chant the holy, that one can chant the holy names for millions of years and obtain nothing. So my question is. Is inattentive chanting a waste of time? Well, <clears throat> inattentive chanting is, you know, it's not, you have to chant. So you have to chant attentively. So if you say, I'm, I'm chanting inattentively, therefore I won't chant at all. How will you ever chant attentively? <laughs> you have to go from inattention to attention. So inattention may be there, so you work on it and try to... Now you go to school, you think, gee, I failed, I should just quit school. <laughs> no, you keep trying until you pass, right? You go for your driver's license examination, you failed. Okay, I quit, I'm not going to drive. No, you practice until you get it, right? So, you know, practice makes perfect. Keep trying. So go from inattention to working on attention. That's a, yes. mm -hmm. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Um, you mentioned, you highlighted the importance of receiving the, spirit, the sound from the spiritual master and receiving guidance from the spiritual master. So my question is also based on the class you gave here in Chicago a few, uh, maybe a week so, or ago. Um, that the idea is to receive the blessings and mercy of the spiritual master, that that's actually the key and secret to success. By faithfully carrying out his instructions, one receives his mercy. So if the spiritual master has that, he bestows the Christian consciousness upon his disciple when he becomes pleased. Is that a, kind of along the lines of what you were saying? Yashya prashada, Bhagavad prashada, Yashya prashada, Nagati kutopi. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We sing that every day. When the spiritual master is pleased, then the door to spiritual life is wide open. <laughs> Doesn't the spiritual master have a desire for everyone, especially his disciples, yeah. to attain Krishna consciousness? So if it's in his power everyone. to bestow that, wouldn't he want to just bestow that upon everyone? He does. <clears throat> he says, Chan Hare Krishna. <laughs> so if you do it, if you do it, you get his mercy, and if you don't... So his mercy is his instructions. Mm. Right? With superiors, how do you connect with superiors? You follow their instructions, that's all. Their, their instructions are for your benefit, so when you follow them, they're there, not so, you, so much that they want to have people to follow them, they want, they're there to give Krishna's mercy to you. 
So you acknowledge what they're given simply by accepting it. And so, just like we say, <clears throat> just like when the child is in the family and the parents are trying to discipline the child, the child obeys the parents, the parents are happy. <laughs> the child just doesn't obey, the, the parents keep trying until they get obedience. So, when you follow the instructions of the spiritual master, you please the spiritual master. That's all. Even your attempt to follow is as good as following. Even if it's not perfect, that's secondary. The idea is that you're trying. This is the thing about spiritual life as opposed to material life. Your, your sincere attempt is as good as your success. Where in material life, you have to get it right or else it's all, it, it doesn't work. We try, and so, and so. What is our qualification? Our ability to try, and so, and so. And the more you try, the more you learn. <laughs> and so, try your best. You can't start with perfection. <laughs> this generally doesn't work. You just try, and so. And when the spiritual master sees you're trying? Oh, they're trying. Let me give them more mercy. Help them try harder. Try better. Child is learning to walk. And he's trying. The parents are holding him up. The child sits down and the parents, what can they do? The child's not trying anymore. <laughs> as long as the child keeps trying, the parents keep helping. <laughs> And so, so trying is almost is practically as good as succeeding. <laughs> Just try your best. <laughs> and how do you try? You hear. You hear to you understand how to do it, or you learn from others, associate with others who are doing it. Like that. Okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> One spiritual master has so many disciples, uh, and uh, so he may not able to give the full attention to each and every one. So in this case also, there is no personal attached connections also at the same time. If we have some disciple may have questions, because once initiation is done, may not have very good contact, not even talking Hare Krishna to Maharaj or something, you know, so many things going on with the Maharaj. He's traveling a lot, he cannot spend with all his disciples. So in that case, how he can associate? Uh, so it's based on desire. <laughs> the more, there may be some, what we say, arrangements that need to be made. It may not be so easy. Like, the tradition is, wherever the guru is, the disciple is. That's the tradition. But now we have a worldwide movement. So the disciples are in some places and the spiritual masters may be in other places. So make some attempt to connect or go see him. <laughs> go see your spiritual master. Write letters. You know, we have different forms of communications. It's up to you. You know, there's certain, like with some of my disciples, I never hear from them. And others, they're always connected with me. So, you know, it's, a base, it's up to the, the person. Right? Yeah. And I give, I give attention to those who want the attention more than to those who don't want it. I might try to encourage them, but it's up to them to reciprocate, you know. So... It's based on desire, that's all. If you want something, you'll go for it. <laughs> you might think, oh, it's too difficult. That means you don't want it enough. If it's difficult, and that, that's the cause of not doing anything, that means your desire is weak. Difficulties sometimes are there just to strengthen our desire. Mm -hmm. 
because difficulties cause us to try harder. And when we try harder, it brings out our enthusiasm, our natural good qualities like that. Okay, so thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Oh, yeah. Krishna, <laughs> hey, how's it going? Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna Hare Shiva Hare Rama
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare, Hare. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare.
कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 Jaya 
प्रभु का जय जय प्रभु का प्रभु का प्रभु का जय प्रभु का भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीने नम ओ विश्व पदाया कृष्ण प्रसाया बो चले श्री माची भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी पचारी नर्वशेषार आश्चर्याजे सदारी ने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी पचारी ने श्री कृष्ण चैतान्या बबू नित्यानंदा श्री अद्वैता गोरो भक्त श्री कृष्ण चैतान्या बबू नित्याना श्री अद्वैत गराधर शिव सदी गोरो भक्त श्री कृष्ण चे बाबू नित्या नीवासरी गोरा भक्त वेला कृष्ण चे बाबू नित्या गोर भक्त में हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा 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 हरे हरी बाओ हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा 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 हरे हरी वो हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम रे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे बोलो बोलो हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम रे राम 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 हरे हरे हो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम रे राम 
राम राम हरे हरे जय प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद 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 मित्र हरी भो हरी भो हरी भो नित्र हरी भो किशोर किशोरी की जय श्री श्री जगन्नाथ बलदेव लेडी सुभाष की जय गोपनंदे हरि हरि वो श्रील प्रभु पार की इस डिवाइन ग्रेस ऐसी भक्ति वेदांत श्री स्वामी प्रभु पार की श्रील प्रभु पार की गोपनंदे हरि हरि वो
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 
कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे हरे